It's that time of year when despite continuing to play in season 25 with Harrogate Town and being Champions League winners for the fourth time in a row, that we look forward to the next instalment. Sports Interactive have unveiled their new Football Manager Games features and the franchise, which is Steam's one of most played every year, will give you more control over your virtual club than ever before. Four key areas of the game will be completely rebuilt for the new edition. These are interaction, match day, recruitment, and end of the season. Plus there's a whole host of other changes to the match engine and much more. Hi, I'm Deck from Fanatical and in this video I'll run you through the major changes for the release of FM21. Knowing that you'll be spending another two hours using them to get your team to the top. But before I get into it, make sure you like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe for more and let us know in the comments who you're going to be managing in the game. Before we start though, it would be an own goal if I didn't tell you about the 22% off you can get when you pre-order the game on fanatical.com. This comes with early access but more on that later. Right, the whistle has gone and it's time for kickoff. The next generation of the popular football, or soccer if you'd prefer, game is releasing on November the 24th, with early access coming out roughly two weeks before launch, and that's any time now. The game is coming to both Steam and the Epic Game Store on launch for the first time in the franchise's history, after a successful FM20 giveaway on Epic in September. Managing your club isn't just about on-field tactics. Communicating with your players, staff and the media will have more purpose in FM21 as what you say and how you say it has changed. Long-time fans of the series will be glad to hear that press conferences have been redesigned to include more variety and be more human. Before the start of the conference, your press officer will brief you on subjects to talk about or avoid, with players also joining you in answering the media's questions. And if you're lucky, you may notice that the press will start to turn your unique brand of football into a footballing phrase that will put you into the history books. It's not just what you say in FM21, but how you say it. You will be able to communicate better with gestures replacing the tone system. This dictates how you say things, such as you can open your arms, shake your head, or even go full Fergie and throw a water bottle. What you do will shape your personality and help shape how players and the media view you as a manager. A bit like an RPG. As well as this, conversations have been redesigned. The new Quick Chats feature allows you to communicate quickly with players and staff from the club or, if you prefer, to managers, press and players outside of the club in an informal manner. The formal chats have been rebuilt too, with face-to-face -face conversations being modified. They're no longer just one-to-one -one chats, with you being able to have multiple people in on the discussion. The example that Sports Interactive themselves gave us was a player looking for more minutes may bring their agent into the chat, and these could threaten to force a move if you don't deliver what they want. After every meeting, you will get a summary to remind you of any promises you have made and actions that you have taken, in order to help you not forget and avoid upsetting players. A new staff role, New meetings and new interactions will change how you deal with player recruitment. Before the start of the transfer window, there's a new recruitment meeting where you'll get feedback from staff, give your own opinions and set scout assignments for the immediate window and for future windows. This isn't just asking for first choice improvements, you could be asking for a replacement for a retiring player or who is available from your affiliate clubs. Picking your future superstar to invest in isn't an easy task and with FM21 you'll be getting more of a helping hand to decide on your next target. This is aided by a new recruitment analyst role who will produce in-depth reports to make sure the player you're signing is up for the task of wearing the shirt of your chosen club. However, it's your choice and you can choose to ignore the advice and go after your favourite players if you so wish. Or just look at that Wonder Kids list that you promised you wouldn't but have anyway. Now, you've done all the preparations and now the transfer window is open. There's a new option to ask an agent about player availability. This will save time when trying to pursue a player that has no interest in joining your club, but it could make certain players request transfers that will bring their transfer value down and let you know when you're chasing a player that has demands that exceed your budgets. It's not just the agents you chat with, you'll be able to talk to the player themselves too and ask them to speed up their contract decision. This is especially useful if you found yourself in the middle of a deadline day struggle 
meaning no time is wasted if a deal goes pear-shaped. There's a new build-up and post-game experience in Football Manager 2021. Ultimately, you will be judged by your results on the field, and in the new game, you'll be able to make more informed decisions about performances. First off, there's the pre-game. There are new screens from the staff with existing and new information to help gain an advantage in a game. This will contain advice that you can apply, opposition scouting, and media or fan opinions. Team talks will also be changed to include the new gestures system, found in press conferences and player interactions. The layout is changing too, so you can easily talk to positional groups, individuals or the whole room and there are new individual talks for player milestones such as their last appearance or their debut. On a match day, the screen is bigger for the reworked 3D pitch which has improved player models, an improved animation system and also improved lighting. This allows you to see more of the action whilst making changes you need in a timely fashion before you concede a vital goal. The final whistle has gone, but what about the post-match? Well, a new post-match screen gives media and fan opinions of the game, and there's new data to digest too. This includes the much-requested expected goal statistic. All of this data will allow you to analyse the match performance like never before in FM, and make any changes you need to turn a loss into a win. If your team is on TV, you will face pre- and post-match interviews, with a pre-match focusing on tactical insights and opposition questions. Whereas the post-match will be your first reaction before you can talk to the players. And you've got to be careful, what you say could influence how the opposition play and how the players react to your team talk. It's not just what you can do around the match that has been improved. Sports Interactive has spent significant time tweaking the match engine to make it a better recreation of the beautiful game. Decision making is now quicker, so your players will be able to respond more realistically. And those players with high mental attributes will be able to succeed more on the pitch. This is shown off most in marking on FM21, with defenders being able to act smarter in how they deal with a tricky attacker. Plus, goalkeepers will now be able to make more informed decisions on when they go to ground and where they are positioned, as well as the best course of action to deal with a situation, such as kicking on a gusty day. Don't expect to see lots of nil-nils though, the balance between attack and defence will still be present, as attacking interplay has also been improved so your tactical instructions can be put to better use by your players. It's not just the battle at both ends of the pitch that will make a difference, there's a greater emphasis on the midfield battle that pundits so often mention. The game has increased several areas key to the midfield to make the unpredictability of football that we love be present in the game, and the fluidity of the teams that we're so fond of watching be achievable to mimic in FM21. The season is drawing to a close and you're on track to win the league. Improved title celebrations on the pitch mean you can enjoy that moment even more. Now when you taste glory, you see your team lift the trophy with more fanfare than in previous games, including confetti cannons. The media will also get involved with big moments such as narrowly avoiding relegation or winning the playoffs, with the game promising more media attention and hype to big milestones in the season. After the season draws to a close, you will see a review presentation that displays information. This will be biggest win, goal of the season, as well as the trophies you've won, and of course your best 11. You'll get a more digestible version of how your club did it as a business, with shirt sales, broadcast, and commercial three sections that will factor into your next season's transfer budget and is displayed post-season. Yes, yes, I know. A game preview is the last place you want to hear about the ongoing pandemic. And I get it. However, Football Manager aims to simulate reality, and they're not afraid to be controversial with the inclusion of Brexit already in the game. It's good news though, the virus won't be included in the title, so you can continue to use the game as a much needed escape whilst you stay safe. There will be the effects of the virus in the game though, such as the decreased revenue and transfer values that we've seen in real life, and the calendar changes. But these will be rectified within the first few seasons as the sport returns back to normal. Thanks for watching, who are you going to manage first? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to pre-order the game on fanatical.com for 22% off and early access.